why is real estate better than the stock market? Hey guys, Matt Faircloth here for Bigger Pockets. I'm the author of a book for Bigger Pockets called Raising Private Capital. And I want to talk to you guys about why this why real estate's better than the stock market. Now I know a lot of you guys are watching this on a real estate based channel and so I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but a lot and a lot of people think that real estate's better than the stock market, which is and it is. Um, but I want to talk to you about why it's better than the stock market, okay? So in my book Raising Private Capital, I talk about passive and active investing. I am a full-time investor, it's what I do for a living, and so I am a active investor. There's also people that passively invest in real estate, and we're gonna compare both to the stock market and why it's better. Okay, so if you're an active investor like me, then you are actively in the day-to-day -day operations of your business, finding deals, finding opportunities, finding apartment buildings, finding small rentals, doing fix and flips, whatever it looks like to make to, just to, to make a return on your money or your investor's money in your business. What you have is control. That's what you have in your in your business that makes you better than the stock market. Because I can tell you, there's very little action you can take that has to do. With what the with what the price of Microsoft is going to be tomorrow, you have very little control. You have no control, really. If you go buy a new mic, a, a new computer, or spend some money with Microsoft or something like that, it's not going to change the stock price. So you, as a consumer, can't change it. You can buy or sell Microsoft, but you're not going to change the price. You're not going to change the dividend that they yield. You're not going to change your wealth or your profitability. All you can do as an as as being active is choose whether or not you want to buy or sell Microsoft at any given time. But you're not. You can't govern govern its profitability. As an active investor, you can govern what kind of rent you get on a property, what kind of tenants you accept, if you put in granite countertops or stain or basic countertops, or if you're going to put in stainless steel appliances or not. There's a lot of control you have on your profitability um, for, the, for the deal. And it, has, it goes everything down to which partners you choose, what research you do, and the more educated you are, and the more education you get through resources like Bigger Pockets, the better choices you're going to make to your own long term wealth. For passive investors, you have something that you, you might not have control because you give up control in exchange for uh, time, in exchange for not having to put time in. But as a passive investor, what you get in exchange for it, 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 through real estate versus the stock market is you get collateral. Okay, and collateral is something that you can come back and take if the deal doesn't perform the way that you think it's going to. And that collateral could look like ownership in the property. If you're a, if you're an equity investor, you maybe own a chunk of the property alongside the active investor. Or if you're a lender, you've got a loan on the property and you've got collateral, which means you can actually come in for close on the real estate if they don't pay their loan. And I promise you, you will not go and take the CEO of Microsoft's house if their if the stock goes down. You won't. Uh, but you can. And go and take uh, you get you can have collateral on real estate if you have a loan on it right so that collateral is something that passive investors have and if they're smart they negotiate into deals for themselves and that's some and active investors have that control those two things the stock market cannot yield you and I can promise you you can do very well investing in stocks uh, by doing your research doing your homework but you have very little if any control and you have very little if any collateral that's what real estate does for me that's why I love real estate over the stock market um, um, again, not poo-pooing the stock market, but I think real estate's better for those two reasons. So if you like this video, video, be sure to give it a like. If you if you like this video and you got something to say, be sure to leave it a comment. And I am Matt Faircloth for Bigger Pockets. I appreciate you guys and have a great and profitable week.